know in the pub and we were friends, we thought let's get together, we did it through Twitter and then we thought well we should get more of our friends down to do something a bit more entertaining, to have a party and also do something for charity as well so the three of us, Tim, myself and Tom, who's not here, uh, we thought we'd get together and a big party and it's worked out quite well. I think the thing with Twitter is that you uh, you build a, a relationship with people without actually meeting them. I think that was our thing where we really wanted to meet people in real life and it's so strange when you've been talking to them for so long and you've actually got to know them quite intimately and then you actually meet them and it's, it's quite cool and that's what the whole event is about uh, with the charity angle as well. I think people attended Twistle firstly for the charity aspect. People wanted to help other people out and we've got a there's, a, there's a group of people on Twitter, there's a large group of people on Twitter and they genuinely, I believe, wanted to meet up just like all the blogger meetups, all the social media scenes, they just wanted to meet people who were like-minded. So there's people that you follow on Twitter who uh, you, you know, you converse with every day, but you don't actually get to talk to them in real life. So there's people you get to know on Twitter but don't meet them. So this is a great chance for people who don't know each other to get together and also do something for a good cause at the same time. It's great. People use Twitter to get to know people, networking, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, first of all, when I first had you, I don't know if it was with yourself, it was networking, meeting people who were in the PR industry, uh, in the communications industry, and talking to them on a uh, quite an intimate level. Uh, but as it's built up, as more friends have actually gone on it, it's more of a case of, in the same way Facebook events have been used to... Um, to organise parties, etc. Twitter's done the same thing, it's had the same effect. Yep, it's just a fun place to be. You get to chat to loads of different people who are interested in the same things as you are, and then you just uh, get to meet up in real life that we are here, so it's quite a friendly place. Um, they're all coming together to support Childline, which is run by the NSBCC. Um, we're hoping to raise £15,000 tonight, which will go towards 4,000 extra phone calls that the NSBCC can answer. So basically, we're going to help a lot of young people out there who need help. And by coming together and making it seem like it's a bit of a party, but actually we're raising a lot of money for a good cause, that we can actually come together and do something good for, you know, through Twitter, really. Yeah. That was it, yeah. Why do you think they come together? As we said earlier, it's a, uh, it's a case of um, you building up these relationships with people that you, you have not met. It's, it's like a it's like a uh, an internet version of the uh, pen pals. So you build up these relationships with people, but instead of building one with a French student, you build it up with 100 people who have similar interests to you. And then you just meeting up. It's, it's, it's a strange phenomenon. It's a strange feeling when you say, "Oh, you're so and so. I, you know, I met online." Um, and then you meet in real life and share a beer with them, and you be, you can chat like you would an old friend. Well, we were just working at the bar actually, serving people drinks. And uh, every time you serve someone drinks, like, "Oh, I know you. Uh, I know you from Twitter." But then you meet them in real life, and it's actually quite cool because it's that weird connection. But it's great. It's really good fun. Yeah. So London is, uh, everyone said London is like the capital of Twitter in, in every respect. Um, and to be fair, Hanson, I'm not filming this bit, Hanson buys that buzz. Where are you? Oh, the other thing is, everyone, every uh, local Twitter world picks a different charity. So we picked NSBCC, and they're great and they're really supporting the cause. But then New York will have their own charity. And it's not competitive, it's all about basically everyone coming together, having a great time and raising lots of money for good causes so we benefit people as well as having a good time and that's it really. Uh, we asked everyone on Twitter who was coming tonight, we said if you could pick a charity who would you support? Lots of charities came forward and then the overwhelming thing was it went towards NSPCC. Uh, one thing that might have swung it is that Stephen Fry, who's a big Twitter user and a big celebrity in general, he he sent out a tweet saying support Childline uh, and then I think everyone got behind that. Uh, but they're a great cause anyway, they're on Twitter, they're really behind it and yeah, we're going to make a fantastic difference hopefully to what they do. Yeah.